You remember you told me in the shop that Ishmael was a bastard. He said, yes. I said, do you still stand by that? He said, of course. I thought maybe the tea and the samosas and the food might have changed his mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, it had no effect. no effect. He said, yes. So I said, all right. All right, Mr. Benat, tell me now. According to Judaism, your religion, the religion has given to you, Judaism, which is preferable for a man to marry his own sister and beget child by her, or marry a slave woman, an African woman. Between these two alternatives, your own sister, you're going to beget child from her, have sex with her, and beget a child from your own sister, or an African woman, a slave woman, who is preferable according to your religion. He says, no, the African woman is preferable. I say, according to eugenics, genetics, which is preferable? For you to be a child from your own sister, a bastard child from your own sister, or from an African woman, a negress. That's what they say. Hajra was a slave woman, born woman from Egypt. She was actually a princess of Egypt. But now, let us stay, whatever they say, is right. She was a slave woman, a born woman, an African woman, a negress. But between these two, your sister and this, which is preferable? He says, no, that negress is preferable. According to the science of eugenics, sex, genetics. I said, according to your common sense, between these two alternatives, which is preferable? He said, no, the African woman, the slave woman, the born woman is preferable. That's the right answers. The answers are right. That's right. Open your book, book of Genesis. Your own book, your Bible. He says that Abraham went to a certain place and the king of the place saw Sarah. She was beautiful, the Hebrew woman. Mm. And he took a liking for her. So he's asking Hazrat Ibrahim He said, what is this woman to you? So the Bible says, he said, she is my sister. He said, right, send her in into the haram. Send her in in the prerogative of kings. In those days, the king says, your sister, your mother, your daughter, and they send her in. And you say, no, you chop off your head. <laughs> so, he's got no alternative. He sends his wife, Sarah, into the king's haram. And the Bible says, this guy couldn't come right with her. Whole night he struggled. I don't know what was the reason. <laughs> the Bible doesn't explain what was going on. But whole night he struggled. Frustrated in the morning, he wants to know from Ibrahim, what is this woman to you? Because on account of her, I had a restless night. He had come right with every woman that he has handled so far, but he couldn't come right with Sarah. What? I don't know. The Bible doesn't say. But he couldn't come right. So he wants to know, what is this woman to you? Now he says, she is my wife. He said, why, didn't, why did you tell me a lie? You know, you are a man of God. If I had done something wrong to her, God could have destroyed me. Why did you lie to me? So, according to his Bible, he says, Ibrahim alayhi salam, he says, for indeed she is my sister. I didn't lie to you. She is my sister. But of the same father but different mother. Same father means father's seed. It's your sister. And she became my wife. So I said according to Judaism, according to your eugenics, according to your common sense, Hajra's child was preferable. If Ishmael is a bastard, then Isaac is a greater bastard. According to Judah, every, every, every test that you have, your, your, your progenitor is a greater bastard. Look, astaghfirullah, we don't talk like that. But now this is the only language the guy understands. See, he's used that language. So I said, look, if Ishmael is a bastard because he's the son of a born woman, then your is, Ishaq is a greater bastard, brother and sister, sex incest, that's incest, and eugenics and common sense from every point of view. Your Isaac is a greater bastard, so your progeny is worse than that of Ishmael. <laughs>